What's going on guys? Don't ask me here and I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial. Now, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a 2x2 two two spiral door. Uh, so, just like that. It's not flush, but I mean, at least it's spiral and it gives it a nice effect. So, why don't we begin? First off, you're going to start by placing your sticky piston down. Let's do times set O. And then you're going to build up two or one yeah two whatever and then start from that block go this way build three out we still have the first two and um, place a piston that way and the way that just pretty much make a spiral so build three up again and then delete that block build three and then place it on top so just go like that so if you look picture it picture this extended this one will go first second third fourth if I'm correct uh, yeah that's right so this one will shoot up first and this is actually my original design um, it's nobody else's uh, I haven't even looked at ethoses yet, but if it is similar, then I did not like copy it from him. But back to the tutorial. So, just if this extends, it'll pull that block out. If it this extends, it'll pull that block out. This one will pull that one. This one will pull that one. <coughs> so pretty much, it won't pull. This one won't be pulling that one or anything. So just follow this exact layout so far. And then we're going to start, and we'll start by having it go into a repeater, repeater, go like this, have it go like this, <coughs> and have your button output lead up to here. If you would like a lever, then the lever would work as well. So yeah, just have your button output lead there, build over like that, piss sticky, or redstone repeater build up and then we're going to hook this to that you know build over wait you know what I th it looks different from that one no that that's right but it does look very different. <coughs> oh, I see, I see. <coughs> I seem to be losing my voice right now, which I'm not sure why. So yeah, just just extend this part out one if you built if you built it right here. If you built it like that, and then go like that, then just extend it out by one. And then torch that and it should power it okay now let's do this so that way if, if you put it right here it would just create an infinite loop which um, eventually would burn out which you don't want and just go into a repeater the repeater go into block redstone block down one redstone block over that repeater and then to build like a tetris shape and then knock out the middle put a block there and you're wondering how could i get the power there you're gonna have to put your redstone torch and i'll i'll show you guys how to hook it up to an actual actually a, um to make it so that two buttons can open and close it <coughs> god why is my voice doing that and let's build like this on both sides one two yeah two one two and we are done so just put the button wherever you'd like I, I like to put the button on this side it's just my preference 
you're gonna have it go down to ground level now just note this is completely optional you could have it open with pressure pads on both sides but I prefer to use buttons uh, you could even have two lever outputs but that would just make like a lock <coughs> so what you're gonna do which requires two sticky pistons do this with the two block space in between go down knock out one torch and do it like so and then make sure to power that one first uh, well you don't have to just the one that the one that the torch is under and the block is next to you power the one that so um, actually I, I don't even know if this really matters but because you can always switch the output once you do it but I mean I, I prefer to do that let's go ahead and do that when you push the button it should flip the T flip flop switch signal and we're gonna just have the two signals lead up to each other once you push the button as you can see it's switched to that side now there should be a current powered and what a T flip flop basically does is it makes it so that a button acts as a lever and you can hook up two buttons to it and as you can see working it's working and it'll also work from this side as you can tell and basically what you want to do with that is find where that is oh, we should have put it on the other side it would have been more convenient but just find where that is two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That way, you can cover up all of it, like fully conceal it without it really doing much. That way, when you push the button, it'll look like that. You can patch in these holes, doesn't matter. So that's the spiral door. And then you can do the same on this side. So that's how to make a 2x2 two two spiral piston door. Exact same design as that, except we added the T flip flop function. Could use levers as well, but it's a little bit more inconvenient. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't ask me here. Till the next episode, I will see you later.